Before you start issuing sales invoices in Xero, what you want to do is design the layout that you want to use. Settings, general settings, and this time we're going to choose invoice settings. You can have more than one branding, the standard branding is referred to as standard and we choose options and then we can edit. There's a little bit of flexibility about margins, not an awful lot. You can choose your font and you can choose your font size. And then the section here is the headers or the names on your documents. And I tend to suggest a couple of things here. The first thing is personal preference. I don't like to see capital, so I would suggest that that would be amended to draft invoice like so. Personal preference, it's up to you. But the second thing I think is a bit more important. I don't think it's relevant in the UK to refer to a sales invoice as a tax invoice. So I would suggest that you certainly remove the word tax. So either leave it as invoice or what I tend to do is change it to sales invoice. Continue changing as you want to all the way down. Then we've got some options about what actually appears on the sales invoice and what shows on it. You can tick and untick these until you're happy with the layout. So you maybe want to show unit price and quantity or maybe you only want to show the total amount. This is the one that I tend to untick, show payment advice cutaway. That's where you've got a dotted line at the bottom of your sales invoice with a section that you could cut and send in with your payment. I don't think it's really relevant nowadays if we're paying electronically, so I tend to remove it. But again, it's personal preference and it's up to you. If you've got payment services with credit cards, you can select here. And likewise, if people pay you by PayPal, you can choose your options here if these have been set up and linked to your Xero account. Terms and payment advice. This is where you fill in your bank details and anything else that you want to show on your invoice. So if you wanted to say thank you for your business, you could. If it was coming to Christmas time and you wanted to say Merry Christmas, that's the section that you would complete it. We will assume that we're not ready to use quotes in zero, so we're just going to leave that at the moment. But when you're happy, you would just select save. If you found that useful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified of our new videos as and when they appear. Until next time, happy zeroing.